What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, the channel. I'm back with another video. Today, I'll be give, um, giving you another reaction video. Um, this is called Reading Strangers' Wrong Decisions and Relationships. Before I get into it, like, comment, subscribe, change notifications so you miss anything that I drop, and you can get right into it. Mm -hmm. so, why did I just take a screenshot? I'll say a screen record. See, y'all, sometimes, like, when I be doing this, I'll be like, ugh. Oh, hold on, because I'm not starting this camera over. No more. So, work with me. Because I'm trying to get this together. I'm trying to get stuff together. Hopefully I can see me good. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I can give y'all this reaction video. <laughs> Hold on real quick. You just don't want to work today. You just don't want to work, y'all. But you know what? I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah. I'm gonna make it happen. There we go. I didn't say no stream shot. I said screen record. Okay. Here we go. To impress my fling, I had a threesome experience with him and his friend. I absolutely hated it and regret continuing it for seven hours. Once when I was in 10th grade, I dated a girl because I felt bad for her, but I was not attracted to her at all. I realized that I was leading her on, so broke off the relationship. She has major trust issues and hasn't dated anyone since then. See, that's why people have trust issues. And for wonder why, like, they get in a relationship and the person always like, um, what you doing? Where you at? Uh, do you like me? Do you love me? Whatever, whatever. Um, because this, stuff like this, people getting in a relationship for the wrong reasons, you really don't want the person, but you're leading somebody on as if you do, but then they already have trust issues already, already got stuff going on, you can send the person to therapy. I mean, come well, on, people shouldn't do that. Don't get in a relationship when you know you don't, don't want the person. You know if you want somebody from when you first meet somebody, from the first second, the first minute, yeah. If you've been talking to him, the first few minutes of talking to somebody, you know when you want somebody or not. So don't just hop in something just to hop in something. I mean, who does that? That's like eating um broccoli. That's like eating broccoli when you know you don't like broccoli. That's like eating chicken when you don't know you like chicken. Why eat the chicken when you know you just gonna spit it back up? I mean, don't do that. Don't. Oh. It's been nine years. I was out with my kids in the mall and bumped into an ex plane. Being a single mother, I flirted with him, but when he asked me if the kids are mine, I lied to him and said they were my sisters. My kids Pause. And yeah, that's what she shouldn't have did. Don't lie. Just because you're trying to get some dude, don't lie to the guy and be like, um, the kid's not yours. No. If a guy really into you, he gonna be into your kids. He gonna be like, what's their name? I wanna meet all y'all. I mean, he ain't gonna just wanna meet you. So don't just pretend, don't pretend like those kids are not yours when they are, because your, kid, your kids is your world. Your kids is your world. So, I mean, don't pretend like, um, hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm not, I'm not stopping this camera. I'm not stopping this camera. Stop. Stop. Sit right there and watch cartoons. I'm not going to stop this camera too many times. I'm not stopping it anymore. I'm the one to drop this video. I'm going to drop it today. I mean, I am. I'm not starting it over. Now I'm not starting it over. So anyway, um, I'm a, I paused it right there because I wanted to say she should not did that. Do not any no woman, no mother should when you got kids should um pretend like you ain't got no kids when they they around you. I mean, I I, I, I can't I can't like you know imagine you know saying oh. Um, my son is my sister's. Like he's not, you know, he's not mine or whatever. Well, I can't, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine a mother saying her kids are not hers. I mean, just to um, impress some dude. I mean, cause guys, I mean, me and come um, a dime in a dozen. Your kids gonna always be there. Your kids, your world. I mean, come on now. 
that man, if that man wants you, he gonna want you, and he gonna be in your kids' lives, he gonna accept you, and he gonna accept your kids. So don't say, you ain't got no kids. Don't put them off on your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your granny, or whatever. Them your kids. Acknowledge them. Heard that and asked me if I won't be taking them back home with me. It broke my heart. I think it's hard for me to empathize with that just because like I'm so excited for the day that I have kids. I do understand not wanting to be judged um, and wanting to be seen a certain way by someone. When I was 11, I got into a relationship with a guy I met online who claimed he was 16. I was planning on going to meet him, but my parents stopped me. I found out later that he led his next victim to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. I feel this kind of hits a little close, but my parents stopped me. Friendship with a guy I met online who claimed he was 16. I was planning on going to meet him, but my parents stopped me. I yes, I'm glad her parents did stop her because I mean you can't not you cannot trust online dating, and especially younger kids. Do not be online dating and then going out meeting someone. Cause you don't know who may be behind those photos. People are, people use fake photos all the time. So you don't know if you're being catfish, you don't know if it's some pervert, some um some psycho. You don't know who it is behind them um, them photos. I mean, anybody can be nice online. Anybody can play like they so friendly, like they want you online. I mean I don't, okay, I'm gonna say this. I don't care about people online dating. I don't, have, I don't, I don't, I'm not against it. I'm not against people who online date, but when it comes to like people getting catfish and like younger, um, young kids, young teens doing it, then you know that y'all shouldn't online date. You shouldn't like, you know, online be dating online and be meeting up with the person. I mean, so I'm glad her parents did stop because you don't know what, um, be going on, you know, people crazy, be kidnapping kids and stuff like that. Try to play like the um, nice person online, but then like you get there, you're kidnapped. Now your parents looking for you. So, yeah. Anyway. I found out later that he led his next victim to commit suicide. Wow. Wow. Well, this kind of hits a little close to home for me. Meeting people online kind of helped my self-esteem because it made me feel like oh this person doesn't even know me and they want to talk to me and i get I sometimes like i get why some people do the online dating because like it's hard for some people to like actually talk to somebody in person you know from you know being scared of like rejection being shy or you know just having issues with relationships you know all together so i understand why people would do it and like you know like she said like it'd be um Esteem, whatever, self-esteem, you know, some people have low self-esteem about like, you know, if somebody like them, if somebody gonna like, accept them, so they feel like they would be more accepted online. So yeah, I, I get it, but I still, I mean, I wouldn't do it. I don't, I never, I've never online dated. So, I don't know. But I mean, I, I, I can understand why people do it, so. To me, and it makes you feel like you're pretty and you're worthy when you don't actually need that validation it's kind of just got to come from yourself not some random man on the internet i am a married woman but i am still in love with my first boyfriend i don't think i love anyone like i loved him pause pause okay you're a married woman but you're still in love in love in love with your boyfriend if you're still let's go back to you like you're in love before you even get married, you're in love with your boyfriend. So why in the world will you get married to another man when you're still in love with your boyfriend? Why give that other man that headache, that that problem that I mean that you you still ain't over your boyfriend? So why hop in a relationship? I mean why hop in another relationship? Get all you know lovey dovey, make the man put a ring on your finger. You married, you still in love with your boyfriend. What sense do that make? That makes no sense at all. Like, if you're still in love, but even before before you even hop to getting married, before you know, no, 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 before you even hop to another man, if you still feel like you got feelings for your boyfriend and you still in love with all the hearts and you know everything, 
Uh, but you know what? You know what? She probably can't go back to her boyfriend because her boyfriend have moved on. But she still got feelings for her boyfriend. And when she in another relationship. So she needs therapy. She needs to get herself together. She, you know what, what she needs to do? She needs to leave the married dude and just stick to herself. I mean, be, be, she needs to, like, you know, get over herself. I mean, because that boyfriend, probably the boyfriend that she's in love with prior to move on. I mean, so she needs to, like, you know, work with her herself and try to get over him. Instead of, like, hopping to something new when she knows she ain't through with the person that she's in love with. That had moved on from her. So, cause that makes no sense. Why get married and you still in love with somebody else? Sometimes I imagine him when I'm making love to my husband. Wow. You might as well just be back. You, you might, I mean, a person like that might as well, you know, just be single. I mean, you might as well, I mean, cause the reason why she can't, you mean, wow. Stuff like this is wow. Wow. That is interesting, and also I think it is it is pretty sad. sad. I'm about to get married, and from time to time I do think about like past relationships, and I I don't necessarily think of them in the light of like I wish I was still in them, just more on a reflective side of things. But I think you should probably question why you're in the relationship you're in, right? Exactly. And, like, if you still Ask yourself, why are you with a married man and you still in love with somebody else? I mean, why would you go as far as getting married? Because people make, pay money for them rings. Why would you go as far as all of that stuff and you still in love with somebody else? Like, I really love like your husband. It might be something that you guys can actually work through together even if it's hard. Because if you still in love with um, your boyfriend, then, if she's still in love with her boyfriend, then her husband, the, the guy she with now, is not making her forget about the person that she's in love with. So I'm guessing that they need to work work, uh, work within themselves, their relationship, the guy that she's married with. They need to uh, do some talking, really do some talking, some therapy, and try to fix what's going on so he can make her happy. But I mean, like, you know what, he shouldn't have, they, it, it shouldn't have to go through all that. She wasn't ready. It looks like she wasn't ready to be married in the first place because if you're still in love with somebody, you're still not over somebody, then you shouldn't hop in something new until you get over the fact, you know, of being with some, the person that you was on prior with. I mean, that's just fair. I mean, don't do nobody like that. My ex-husband told me that he was abused by his father when he was a teenager. I saw abusive tendencies in him as well, but I stayed with him for six years because I was sure I could change him. But after having our son, he finally did it. He gave me a black eye. My biggest regret was ignoring all the red flags because it well, but I My ex-husband told me that he was abused by his father when he was a teenager. I saw abusive tendencies in him as well, but I stayed with him for six years because I was sure I could change him. But after having our son, he finally did it. He gave me a black eye. My biggest regret was ignoring all the red flags because not having my ex around has brought me so much yeah, but somebody, um, if you, somebody give you signs of abuse, if they hit you, and it's, if it's in them, if they hit you one time, abuse is in them. I mean, I wouldn't give it no, don't give it no, um, no second, no, no second chance, no third chance, run. Because if it's in them, then it's in them. So if he hit you one time, and you feel like, you know, he gonna um, abuse you, then your best bet is to go and pack your bags, you know, or just, I don't know, yeah, just pack your bags and just go and move on. Because don't nobody need to be in a relationship and you being abused. But I mean, like, I don't know. Some situation, I don't know. Some situation may be hard. It may be hard to leave, but I mean, my advice would be to, if you, I'm first flags, I'm just talking about like first flags, like, if you first see a sign of abuse when you firstly knew in a relationship, Run. Run. Run, run, run. Fast as you can. Say you can't catch me. Peace out, man. Say that. I <laughs> mean, you better be like the gingerbread man and go. Truly. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, it's kind of this like hope that you're clinging on to that like will make a difference, right? You know, hoping that someone would change. Um, and a lot of times it's so heartbreaking because the reality is sometimes people don't change. And I also... 
would urge this person to not be so hard on themselves because you know where they were coming from was such a place of love and compassion it just turned out that um you know this person maybe wasn't ready for it i had an abusive ex-boyfriend and adopted three cats with him in an attempt to improve our relationship one weekend after staying with my mother i returned home to find that he had purposely killed our three cats to punish wow. me for having gone for the entire weekend why the cats why are you gonna abuse them innocent cats though i mean come on now the cats ain't deserve that they ain't deserve it yo anyway uh, i'm gonna stop the video right there um hope you can see me good uh my video stopped but um i'm gonna just stop it right there i hope you enjoyed my hey i hope you enjoyed my reaction um if you did give that a thumbs up uh make it blue making thumbs blue um don't forget to subscribe 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 to my channel yeah so you can chill on my channel because i drop i try to drop every day sometimes i can't because you know stuff comes up people get busy we got lives other than youtube so yeah um yeah hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything i drop and yes stay tuned to the next video peace